blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a full face of first impressions using a bunch of new makeup. Some things I really love, some things I don't really love, and you'll see what I'm talking about later on in this video. But before we go into this video, I have a special surprise for you guys. I am doing a huge giveaway right now, starting right now. I'm giving away this stuff right here. There's going to be three winners. Each winner will win a $100 gift card to Ulta. A punch, a punch, a bunch of makeup, just a bunch of girly stuff. You're going to be flooded. And I'm super excited to do this for you guys. All you have to do to enter is follow me on Instagram, like my latest picture, and comment your favorite emoji. That's it. It's so easy. I promise. I, I want to make it as easy as possible. I just want to give back to you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys are my family. You guys are like my sisters and best friends. Like, you mean the world to me, and I just want to give back to you guys. So, yeah. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's get this on. This is the, video. the new foundation from the Balm. It's called Even Steven. And it's a whipped foundation in this little tiny jar. I have a light medium one and a medium. So I'm gonna go between the two. I'm gonna start off with light medium and then see how this is looking on my face. And if it doesn't work out, then we're gonna switch to this guy. So it looks like this. It's a whipped foundation it just looks i don't like anything i have to dunk my anything in it just doesn't seem right but we're gonna see how it applies on the face so here we go it's a little cakey looking and it might be a little too light for me that is way too light for my face okay i had to take that off i was looking super pale and i'm gonna go ahead and apply the medium shade on with my finger i think that'll be a little bit better so let's whip like this automatically it is drying extremely matte it feels like this foundation just sits right on the top of your skin it doesn't sink into your skin it just sits there on top it's like the medium is a little too dark and then the light is way too light so you would have to get both of them just kind of to kind of mix it up to get your shade and i just i don't know if i how i feel about the way this dries this dries super matte i'm gonna mix in some of the light if you have dry skin this isn't going to be a good foundation for you because it's going to really accentuate any lines that you have yeah i am not feeling this foundation you guys just to be honest I like other things from the balm, but this is just not one of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the concealer, which is not a first impression. This is like an oldie but goodie. This is the MAC Pro Longwear. It's going to brighten my under eyes and highlight a little bit. And then we will move on to the next first impression. I'm very excited about this. I even have some of these guys so I can get into the heat vibes. I am going to be doing my eyes using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I'm very excited about it. This palette is so gorgeous. All the naked were super popular they were all very cool tone this one is on another level this is an everyday palette for me i love every single shade in this palette and i'm very excited to use it and start off with low blow this shade right here work it on the inner and outer corners of the lid just patting it in and then following up through the crease and then with the brush from the naked palette i'm just going to diffuse the edges and that's going to be our first transition color. I'm going to bring it up a little bit past the crease just to add some more drama to the eye. I usually like to keep darker shades away from the inner corners, but with this look, we're going to go in with these dark shades. So I'm going to change the look up a little bit. For the next color, I'm going to take He Devil right here, this matte shade right here. Same brush, just using the other side. And I'm going to work that right on top. You always want to keep that first color peeking through. I really like this this side of the brush that it comes with for blending. It works really good. It just grabs the color and it moves it exactly where you want it. So what I'm going to do is take a larger fluffier brush to really soften the edges. Try to leave that center part of your eye nice and open. Okay, now I'm going to mix cayenne and en fuego together build up that deep intensity. I think all of these colors are going to work great together. Really deepening up the inner and outer corners. It's going to look like a fiery hot Cheeto. Honestly, you guys, when I get lazy and I'm like, I don't feel like taking forever to blend my eyeshadow, I just pack it on. It looks messy. And then I go in and blend it. And that's where I do all the work. Now I'm going to smooth everything out with this larger fluffy brush. Y'all are not ready for this triple X hot Cheeto. 
I'm taking my eyeshadow a little bit further out than normal and a bug bit me right here so I want to cover it up. I like the way this looks because it's like the purple and the reds are not exactly in the same exact place which is what I like about it. It's kind of just marbled everywhere. So for the center I'm going to take this super gorgeous color right here called Lumbre. It's such a pretty color. Look at it. I'm going to pop this gorgeous color right onto the center of my lid. I didn't realize how red this was going to be, so I'm going to go ahead and take more of that purple on the end. It's the um, matte purple right here. It's called Ashes. I'm just going to take that, a little bit more of this, and just work it into the outer corners. So I just cleaned up the side. I feel like it was going a little bit too low, so I cleaned it up, made it into an angle. And then I'm just going to soften up the edges a little bit on the outer corners. I'm going to take this Makeup Shack T11 brush and just fluff out, buff out the edges right here. But blend the good girl, blend the blend, the blend the blend. For the brow bone, I'm going to take Chaser right here and pop that on to the brow bone. And I'm using a City Color brush. And if you guys are wondering what the heck this thing is right here, this is in a mosquito bite that is making my eyeshadow look deformed. But we are going to fix that with the brow bone highlight. I want you guys to look at your brow bone highlight as a second chance. If you're having a bad eyeshadow day, your brow bone highlight got you, girl. This is the um, L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise to coat the lashes. I want a little bit more of a pop on the center. I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to take the lightest shade. It's called Once, I think. I'm just going to dot a little bit in the center just to have that extra pop, pop of light. There's these two liners that came with the palette that came with the PR that I got from Urban Decay. A brown pencil in Torch and then this plum one in Alkaline. I'm going to use Alkaline to to line the top. I'm going to just run a line right across. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop on the lashes before we move on anywhere else. I need to feel the glam right now, so I just grab these lashes. These are the new ones from House of Lashes. Ooh, my dryer just went off. These are the Allura Light. I thought these would look really cute with this look. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on really quick. Usually just pop them on. Let me just see what they would look like. I think they would look really good. Yeah, they're cute. They're not too crazy. They're still spiky, full. All right, so my lashes are on. They have just enough volume to make the look complete. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the lower lash line. I'm going to take cayenne. I'm going to start to work that on the lower lash line. Bring that in like this on both sides leaving a little space in the middle because we want to pop that highlight in the center and now i'm going to go into en fuego and i'm going to work that right on the lower lash line as well try to keep it really close to those lashes and then i'm going to take the purple and i'm also going to pop it onto the lower lash line now i'm going to take the mascara and i'm going to work it into those bottom lashes all right so that is it for the eyes they are dramatic. They are out there and I am loving it. This isn't something new. This is not a first impression. It's my Kat Von D palette. I'm just going to pop this right underneath my eyes so we can seal that in place and brighten it up. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with some powder contour this time. So I'm just going to go right underneath the cheekbone with this Saliva brush right here. Gotta get that nose in shape. So now I'm going to put on a bronzer. The bronzer that I have been loving a lot that I don't I don't have a new bronzer to show you guys but this one I have been loving so much um, this is the Estee Lauder bronze goddess oh, it's so good so I'm just gonna pop that on to add some warmth to my face to give my face some color so Kat Von D has her new blush the Lolita is like hot it's the hottest liquid lips that she has it's very popular and now she has it in blush form and a lipstick form it's a matte blush I always get excited for matte things so I like to start at the hairline and then bring it up upwards I want to make this a very warm look so this color is going to go perfectly this is a very pigmented blush i barely have any on my brush and it's just coloring in my cheekbone like crazy i'm really liking it 
feeling it oh my god i do have a new highlight but they broke when they came in so i'm so sad about it but i want to try it so we're gonna we're gonna try it i swatched it on my hand on insta stories and it was like so beautiful so i definitely have to try this highlight this is the new urban decay afterglow highlighting palette Mine's is a little broken. These are the shades. They're so gorgeous. I'm gonna take side piece and then pop it onto my cheeks. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but the last time Urban Decay came out with their highlight, like a highlighter or a, an illuminator, I didn't like it. I feel like it was chalky and it didn't stick onto the skin. It wasn't highlighting anything. This is another level. Like this is a beautiful highlight. I am so in love with this highlight i'm gonna put some actually on my nose right there and right here and right here the packaging too is so gorgeous look at that lancome came out with some new juicy shakers i actually never tried the juicy shaker the do the juicy shakers on my channel i tried them off my channel like i tried them i wasn't a big fan of them to be honest so i didn't really want to use them on my video because I wasn't a fan of them but these came out the juicy the matte juicy shakers so I'm excited to try it just shake it up looks like this it's a cute little little guy like that this is in the shade beige vintage it also came with some new lip liners so first I'm gonna line my lips I'm gonna take sheer raspberry this guy I'm gonna line my lips so we're all filled in and now I'm gonna go ahead and take the juicy shaker shake it up and then i'm gonna put it on my lips oh it doesn't smell like anything special hmm it feels really good on the lips it's very plushy and it just feels like it feels really wet but it's supposed to dry matte so let's see what this dries like this is actually a lot thinner than what i thought it would be i really like this applicator it feels so good on the lips it's like so squishy this is a fiery look i love this look all right i popped on some contacts these are the desio gray rebel contacts and i think it changed up the look a little bit and i like the way it looks i kind of look like vampirish but i like it like in a good way i'm gonna go ahead and pose now guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to thumbs it up also good luck to you guys out there that are entering the giveaway i wish you bunches and bunches of luck i'm sending positive good luck vibes your way also if you haven't checked out my other videos or interested to see more videos from me i will be over there in some other videos so go ahead and check them out also before i let you go i want you to smile at somebody new today just give them a smile i love you guys so much with all my heart and that's pretty much it and i will see you in the next video Bye, dollies.